the YouTube. You already know it's your boy, Sir V, aka that OG, back with another one on that ass. Uh, so right now, just about to see what's shaking. Promised y'all vid on that light bar. Let me drop that. I know y'all been asking for that for a hot minute. Um, I know I said I was going to give that to y'all. So let me get into giving y'all a quick setup. Show y'all how I went about installing, wiring, everything of the sorts. Let's go. What it do, Tube? So here's a light bar. Just wanted to give that to y'all right quick. Um, what I'm going to do is pull the bumper out. And then let's get into the back on how I set it up in the bumper and what I actually did as far as wiring and all that good stuff. Let me just show y'all how I actually set the light bar up in my front bumper. All right, Tube, so here's a back setup just to kind of give y'all that whole view of how I set it up and how everything looks with the uh, light bar. I really used 3M tape, but you can see right here, I actually drilled a little hole to put the screw through, and it came with this bracket. I, I went with the one with the stainless steel or metal bracket, just so I know it'll last longer. Really didn't trust the plastic ones. And um, over here now, I actually cut this portion out right there in between the light bar and where the actual front bumper is you can kind of see the cut get it in. you see i kind of cut that well i did cut that um set it up there same thing on this side i drilled a little hole so i could get the screw in let me come in from this side so you guys can see the setup uh see i have that there i use the 3m tape only on the top um, the bottom was secured with the bolts. See how I ran the wire around the reinforcement and under, then I have it here going up. So now, I mean, that's just regular wiring, but I still want to find a better way to get that up somewhere up here towards the engine bay. So don't have to worry about water damage. So I have the light bar running up right running up you see the wire here it's gonna run up here running up i have it behind the frame running right here you see where it connects and then you can see where it's running along my grounding my hks grounding kit and then you can see right here where the fuse is i actually went with a different type of harness didn't like the harness that came with the original kit it looked real cheap real flimsy this right here would be the little fuse so you got the little fuse here that runs up the positive then I have the negative wire that runs up as well um yeah no nah, it was really plug and play like I said the wiring harness is really light it's the wire that runs up from the wiring harness here you see I have it here it splits negative negative positive um, again, you have the fuse, so your fuse right here, and then you can see where it's connected right here and it runs under the cold air and up. You see it going here and it goes under this plastic cover. And as you see, I ran it into the well right here by my door, and then I just dragged the wire down the fender. And now let me open the door and show you guys how I got in there. So I don't know if you guys will be able to see it uh, right in here. You can see why I'm taking the tab off where the wiring harness is. And I actually ran the wire right through there, through the door. I don't know if you guys can see the little black wire in there. Right in there, runs up through the door. I ran it under my panel. And then it comes right in here where I have the toggle. I actually made the hole. You see why I overcut on the right side? uh yeah not as clean as i thought it was going to be but definitely set it up um but the toggle fits nicely i really like that really like the toggle looks really good has a uh red light here and then a red one up top definitely uh, at night i'll show you guys the toggle so you can see what it looks like at night but um yeah that's pretty much the setup everything works and i like it to give you 
got that. That's my toggle. Uh, see, that's with the uh, light bar off. Light bar on. Very good look. Very good look. run through it's a quick install it's honestly straightforward um the main and the hardest part for me was just the setup on how i was going to go about setting up the light bar in my actual grill and finding a location and figuring out how i was going to make it secure um, hopefully this vid gave you a little bit more insight if you wanted to do this mod yourself you already know if you found it useful like share comment well, definitely hit that subscribe button it's your boy, Sir V, a.k.a. that OG. <laughs> Until next time, stay tuned.